Okay, my name's Hugh, and this is a, an SRI gas chromatograph. This is what it looks like when it's when it's operational. To get inside, lift the lid, lift the lid of the oven, and you can see that there are, in this particular GC, there's two injectors, two columns, and three detectors. So the point of this little film is to um, recognize the different detector types. So it's a visual thing. This is the electron capture detector. This is a radioactive detector. You can see the radioactive mark here. So this is an electron capture detector. We abbreviate that as ECD, electron capture detector. This is the photoionization detector, which we abbreviate as PID. And so this particular detector has a, a light bulb called a, a PID lamp. And the light, the light from the PID lamp is what ionizes the molecules and creates the signal. This detector here is the flame ionization detector. This detector has a tiny little hydrogen flame right in the middle of this fitting and ionizes the sample by the heat of the flame. This GC here has two detectors. It has a thermal conductivity detector, which is in this box, and a flame ionization detector. This GC here is equipped with a flame photometric detector typically used for detecting sulfur molecules. You can tell the FPD detector, flame photometric detector, because it has a photomultiplier tube in the bottom which is staring up at the flame. This GC here is equipped with a dry electrolytic conductivity detector, or DELCD for short, and this detector is selectively detecting chlorine and bromine containing molecules. If the molecule doesn't have chlorine or bromine, this detector doesn't detect it, which is very useful in many circumstances, but it's a very unique looking detector so you can recognize it easily when you see it.